Hey y'all, uh, welcome to the first in a series we are calling Andrew's Quick Tips. Just there, there we go. There's a, 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 a this series name we're going to go with. Uh, today we're going to go over how I pack my pressure cookers. A lot. I've had a lot of the, these questions um, and I thought that I've shown that in my video before but maybe I just haven't explicitly, go, explicitly gone over it. So really quick, um, I read every comment you guys put on the YouTube channel. Hands down, I read every single one. Um, the thing about that is, I don't have enough time to really respond thoughtfully to all those anymore like I used to. I mean, we're over 13,000 subscribers, by the way. Thank you all so much. Um, but where I don't have enough time to really answer those in comments, I'm going to start trying to uh, take my most commonly asked questions and just do quick tip videos, three minutes long, and then we'll put them in a playlist and you guys can kind of go see some commonly asked questions, some uh, or uh, facts, I guess, frequently asked questions, and uh, just get the answers to those. So today, uh, I'm going to pack two different types of cookers. One is a pressure cooker, um, which is the Presto 23 quart. The second one we're going to pack today is an All-American 75X steam pressure sterilizer. Uh, basically a tiny little autoclave, right? So. <clears throat> I can fit fit uh, six bags in my All American 75X that I've got. I can fit four five pound bags in my Presto. So let's start with the 75X. I'll just show you guys how I do that real quick. Um, we'll talk about it really quickly before I show it um, and then overlay the B-roll on top. So the easiest way to go about this is um, you take your bags that are folded like so. And I always put my bottom layer upside down. That keeps the open part of the flap out of the water. So that when everything's cooled back down, you don't have water sucking back into your bags, right? Okay. In the All-American, that doesn't really matter so much because your bags aren't coming in contact with the water directly. But there are, is some condensation that might uh, puddle up in the pot, bottom of your pot. And uh, they can still suck that water up. So. The way we're going to do this is we're going to lay three bags down, upside down, uh, three bags on top, right side up, and then uh, we'll just close it real quick. So why don't I just move the camera and show you guys how we do that. All right, here we go. So we're going to put three in this uh, container, the insert, and uh, you can see I've got my water filled up to just above. It's above my, the very tops of my heating elements. So you guys saw how easy that was. Um, I've now flipped the switch for the All-American. I have the, the dial turned on five, which is the highest setting. And now I'm gonna allow it to build up a little bit of heat when I can feel air moving out the top of the port. Um, I can then flick my little switch that makes it uh, 
seal up, right, the, the sorry, I got hair in my eye. Um, the, the pressure gauge should go up to 15 PSI. Once that hits uh, uh, 15 PSI, I start my timer. I back my temperature all the way down to the one setting and let it sit there for two and a half hours. Come back, flick the switch off, and you're done. Let it cool overnight, and then tomorrow release the pressure and pull the bags out and you're all good. Now, let's go do the Presto. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna do the Presto 23 quart. Um, it's also just as easy as the All-American. The trick with this one is, you are going to have the bags directly in contact with the water. So, when you're loading your pressure cooker, you wanna keep these bags, the ends of them, where they would typically self-seal after they're cooling. Self-seal means that as they cool, they suck in air, thereby creating a vacuum inside the bag, making them good and tight and sealed. So, you wanna keep this open end out of the water. Otherwise, it'll create a siphon, and as it cools, it'll suck in water. Put it upside down. I'll get two bags of spawn in the bottom of my Presto. I fill the water up to about right here, so where I've, I've got plenty of water in the pressure cooker, but these are still, these, are, these sides are being held up by the side walls of the pressure cooker. So, we'll get four bags in, we'll turn it on, close the lid up, and, uh, or we'll put the bags in, add the water, the bottom bags, add the water, put the top bags in, close it up. Again, 15 PSI at two and a half hours, turn off your heat, let it cool overnight, and you're good to go. Let's do it. Alright guys, that's it. Other than that, you just follow your pressure cooker's instructions. Um, again, I do mine at uh, 15 PSI for two and a half hours, and that is plenty of time for the oats to, uh, to get really good and sterilized, and uh, you guys should have good results with those. I, I do suggest backing off on your time if you have a weaker grain like millet or wheat or rye. Um, but oats, if you're making it based off of our oat spawn video that we just released, uh, this is the way we go. So, uh, with that, guys, please hit that uh, thumbs up button. Whew, I could not remember what I was supposed to do. Please subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. Check out down below for all kinds of links and goodies you can get, code, places you can use the code MOSSY. And uh, as always, y'all, keep spawning culture.